Yuri fights so strange. There's nobody like him. Oh, 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 my knee. Oh, there it is. Yuri, wow. He almost moves around like a guy who wouldn't be good, but he's really good. It's defensive back. Oh, 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 for Prohaska. Look at that three heavy now shots. Now we're going to put it together. We've heard for years that samurai no longer exist. Then Yuri Prohaska came along and proved otherwise. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and a scotch and a coleno. My knee. Oh, oh there we go. Toughness shown on each side. Oh. The girl named Denisa is the nickname that stuck to him, but it has nothing to do with kindness. Oh, there it is. He's not slowing down with his own offense. He's still defending intelligence. From ferocious hooligan street brawls to performing in the most competitive arenas around the world for over 10 years, this modern samurai has earned the glory of the UFC light heavyweight championship belt. He lost it after a controversial stoppage, and now he is on the hunt for his belt, determined to rip it from Alex Pereira's waist. It's the perfect time to remember how Yuri Prohaska masterfully embodies the kill or be killed mindset. Yuri Prohaska was born on October 14, 1992, in Zhnomo, now the Czech Republic. He lost his dad when he was six. The anger grew in him until it found a way to explode. Yuri, now a teenager, decided to join the hooligan club. They used to organize big street brawls with fans from other teams, sometimes even having these massive 30-on-30 fights. Even before he hit high school, he first saw the movie Never Back Down, then videos of legends like Mirko Krokop and Fedor Emelianenko. The teenager was profoundly impressed and soon started practicing Thai boxing in a gym near his home. Yuri Prohaska made his MMA debut on April 7, 2012 against an unlucky fella named Stanislav Futera and went fully Alex Pereira by delivering a vicious left hook that pumped his brakes instantly. After earning a 7-2 record, whose victories never saw the second round, Denisa was matched against the formidable compatriot, Martin Solch, with the inaugural GCF light heavyweight title on the line. Jiri had no intention of leaving prisoners and went airborne with a knee that shut Martin's lights off instantly. In the first title defense against the MMA veteran Tomas Pins, the script did not differ much from the title win, as Bruhaska needed only 41 seconds to launch his nuclear knee. And seal the deal with a fair share of ground and pound. The first real test of his career arrived next against the undefeated Dorko Stucic and a future UFC competitor, although the Serbian promised some resistance. It was all in vain when Yuri started to swing with haymakers. Before unleashing a rain of ground and pound that forced the referee to jump in. In 2015, Denisa ran through three opponents effortlessly, dismantling them within a round. Before he was scheduled to take part in the World Grand Prix 2015 100 kilogram tournament at the Ryzen FF. On December 29th, 2015, he made his promotional debut against Satoshi Ishii, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt and an Olympic judo gold medalist. After successfully defending a takedown, Denisa retaliated with a barrage of punches before crow copping with a vicious high kick. The Czech fighter smelled blood and landed a few brutal knees, forcing the referee to intervene. Two days later, Denisa was set to square off against the then undefeated Fedor prodigy Vadim Nemkov, a future Bellator champion in the making. The Russian was the most formidable opponent Yuri had faced before, who quickly introduced him to the beauty of the Russian Sambo. 
After scrambling to his feet, the Czech fighter was taken down again. He threatened with an armbar this time, but submitting a Sambo specialist was a hard pill to swallow. Before you know it, they went into an all-out war on the feet. And on the ground, leaving everything they had in the ring. After 10 minutes of non-stop action, the Russian was visibly tired. And Yuri gained his momentum, ultimately leaving Nimkov too much exhausted to continue after the first round. In the final, only hours away from a heated brawl, Prohaska was matched against Mohamed Lawal. The fight pace against Nemkov took its toll badly, as Denisa was viciously knocked out in the first. <laughs> Prohaska returned the following year in a fight against Kazuyuki Fujita, an MMA veteran who's been around since 2000. The Japanese fighter was no match for the young buck who pulled off a textbook boxing combo that ended the show in the first round. After a one-sided unanimous decision victory against Mark Tanios and a first-round TKO versus William Roberto Alves, Yuri wanted to finish the successful 2017 against Carl Albrechtsen, a dangerous finisher with a 6-1 record. The Swedish fighter proved to be very heavy on top as he controlled Prohaska for much of the first round. Oh, Carl's got his, his hand caught. Yeah. Wow. Although he managed to deal some damage with heavy ground and pound strikes, and use his hips, get his hips involved. He did not consider that Yuri has the samurai spirit, and in the samurai's code, there is no surrender. The Czech fighter was now angry and back to his feet, where he unleashed more bombs on the opposition than the Germans on Stalingrad. Ultimately forcing the referee to jump in for the rescue. The shots, hair, fly, uh -oh. everywhere. It's it. it's over. It's the over. referee says that is enough. While many athletes dedicate long hours to trading in traditional gyms, Bruhaska takes a different path. Tu jsem si tam pověsil na takový pařez, rozsvítil jsem si na, na hranu a zkusím 24. Tak jsem šel 24 hodin přední zadní. No. <laughs> During a five-month period in 2018, Prohaska collected the heads of Bruno Capalozza. Biggest mistake you can against Jury. You can't attack him. You have murder. He and won't ruin you. It's, it's, a, it's, it's over. Jake Hyun. Keep putting the pressure on. Oh, oh another geez. right, left, right, left, right. Land it again. That's it. it. It's over. And Brandon Halsey. Just chasing his opponent down the mat, underneath the armpit. Dangerous stuff here. All in the first round. And now, it was time for a rematch against the guy who gave him the most devastating loss of his career, Mohamed Lawal, with the inaugural Rise in Light Heavyweight Championship on the line. Lawal reminded Jury of his power in the first. In the pocket though, Frank. Going the right there. But the Czech fighter kept his composure. For two rounds, they played a chess game at close range. Change. Put him on his back. Good kick landed by Mo, winding up there. And neither of them was ready to do anything reckless. By the third, Lowal's gas tank was running low, and it looked like Yuri had an extra oxygen cylinder as he bombarded the opposition with missiles. King Mo covering up. King Mo's covering up. Ross is going in there for the finish. Leaving the referee with no other option. And just like that, Ryzen had a new light heavyweight champion. I will represent Ryzen anywhere Ryzen wants me to represent. In October 2019, Denisa found himself in the ring against Fabio Maldonado, a scary boxer with 28 knockouts on his boxing resume, who gave Fedor Emelianenko the fight of his life. <laughs> Yuri started a sequence with a beautiful boxing combo that hurt the Brazilian. Nice combination yeah. there by Prohaska. Backing up. Then he steered the victim into an ambush and pulled the trigger. Right hand there, dropped the nice body shot there by 
leaving the opponent face down on the canvas. Oh, and a nice right landed there, and he drops. Only two months later on New Year's Eve, the Czech Samurai was scheduled to defend his Ryzen belt against C.B. Dalloway, a BJJ black belt, and a battle-tested UFC vet since 2008. Jury stalked Dalloway like a predator, and before you knew it, he launched a torpedo of an uppercut, followed by a vicious left hook that made him bounce off the canvas like a hyperactive beach ball. With a record of 26 and 3 and 25 confirmed kills, Jury was now ready to test his skills in the UFC, and when the big league called, there were no second thoughts. On July 12, 2020, the Czech Samurai was welcomed to the UFC by Volkan Edzdemir, a former title challenger coming out of big victories against Ilir Latifi and Alexander Rakic. The newcomer lacked respect for the opponent and almost paid the price for it. CB Dalloway, Fabio Maldonado. Oh, came on the wall. see what I mean? Yep. It only takes. Danisa quickly recovered and retaliated with ballistic missiles. I like it. Beautiful Look at this. jab. That got fast. Oh, window here for Prohaska. In the closing minute of the first round, they initiated a brawl, which was an overture of what was about to come. Anawa, ooh, whoa! Israel Adesanya got Early in the second, after distracting the opposition with a low kick, to get away with some of these unorthodox. Prohaska went upstairs. Put to sleep with one shot, with the big advantage. And landed a picture-perfect high kick that wobbled the opponent. Side leg kick there, oh. and a high kick. Oh, the Czech fighter was determined to capitalize on the moment and went after the opponent with everything he had, and the fundamental one-two combo was all that was needed to seal the deal legally. Went for the flying knee. Oh, there it is! Yuri By sending Udzdemir into oblivion, Yuri earned his first performance of the night bonus. Prohaska had no warm-up fight and was thrown straight to the Wolves, as he was set to face Dominic Reyes next, a top contender who gave John Jones the hardest battle of his career. Oh. Oh, my goodness. The Czech Samurai started the hunting season with a cross. Like he said, he's not hunting the knock. Oh. 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 Right. But soon overextended his body and was taken down as a result. Oh. Sat him down. Nice takedown attempt here. He's in tight. Got it. Denisa returned the fight on the feet and retaliated by bombarding Dominic's head. Defensive back. Oh, oh, combination for Prohaska. Look at that three heavy now shots. Now put it together. The rest of the round was a one-sided pounding in which Yuri was the blacksmith. In the second, the fighters decided to go to a brawl and let it all out. Good job. Big knee too. My body shot. Body. Body then comes Reyes on the run a little bit here. Prohaska senses Prohaska. it. He knows. Prohaska launched a rocket, and a merciless all-out war broke out. And it doesn't count. Oh, wow. Wow. Broken nose, broken jaw, the man would fight all night. How Danisa was eager to play Russian roulette and was caught with a powerful counter left. The center of the octagon. Oh. Goes up, kick, oh. follows it with a left. Oh. That made him turn into a wrestler. Prohaska. Now he's trying to sense the the American went for a guillotine. Oh, now you're a wrestler. He's on his neck. Get guillotine, that's deep. My that house is but he was unsuccessful and was soon under a reign of ground and pound strikes. Going down with his own offense. He's still defending intelligently. He's still making it a tough fight. Brohaska was not ready to slow down and went after Reyes like a man possessed. Big Brohaska. shots here from Brohaska. Big left as Reyes returns to his feet, needs a kick. After delivering some shots in the guard, Yuri penetrated Dominic's defense by delivering a spitting elbow from hell. Fire it back. Top this shown on each side. Oh. That sent him straight to the Shadow Realm. This fighting spectacle was awarded a fight of the night, and Yuri won another performance of the night bonus and a highlight for the ages. Only a few in history made an immediate impact with the organization to be granted a title shot after only two fights. Zuri was given a shot at the UFC light heavyweight title against Glover Teixeira, a high-level BJJ black belt and a true veteran of the sport who's been in MMA wars since 2002. The Brazilian knew where his advantage is and took the fight to his own realm. Martial artists. Oh, nice. nice shot. Body head. He tried to cause as much damage as possible, but Yuri displayed great defensive skills. Up and down low. Now what does Yuri have off his back? And exploded to bring the fight to stand up again. Prohaska initiated fire in the second. Last two wins have ended by round two. Nice. And launched himself with a knee that hurt the opponent. 
just like that, they jumped headfirst into a ferocious slugfest. Oh, punches and punches. I mean, has After receiving shots to the head, the Brazilian was discouraged to keep the fight standing and managed to score a takedown. He adjusted himself to a mount position and attempted an arm triangle choke. Nevertheless, the samurai was not ready to surrender yet and scrambled his way out of there. After a non-stop action of constant scrambling, they survived to see the fifth round. The old lion was not done yet and surprised Yuri with a big right hand. Followed by a guillotine that barely slipped. They were back to their feet and Tashira launched missiles to Yuri's head. That culminated with a takedown. Somehow the Czech samurai escaped the lion's den by reversing the position. He then went for the neck and squeezed the life out of Glover. In a fight of the year for 2022, Yuri Prohoshka was crowned as the new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. And After a debilitating right shoulder injury with a heavy heart, he was forced to relinquish his title. At the end of 2023, Yuri was back on the hunt for his belt, facing off against Alex Pereira in a title bout for the vacant UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. Oh! All the clinch in, the oh! in the opening round, Yuri immediately seized the initiative, putting pressure on Poatan from the start. Credited for his leg, just threw it there. Pereira, with his renowned leg kicks, gradually disrupted Prahaska's rhythm, slowing down his movement. And now, than anything they teach you. During the second round, the Brazilian picked up where he left off by again targeting Prahaska's compromised legs. Defend the punch. Oh, had no space to move. However, Yuri battled back on his feet and found success by striking Pereira with pressure. But Prahaska fell victim to the right-left counter combo that made the ref stop the fight. Though Prahaska jumped right up onto his feet after the ref stopped the bout, he didn't argue the result. Although trash talk and scandals make headlines in the frenzied, money-spending world of fame and success of the UFC, Yuri Prahaska remained true to his principles, capturing attention solely showing respect for his opponents and maintaining a calm and collected demeanor. It is not sure if there is a possible high-profile rematch with Pereira, akin to the Pereira Adesanya situation. In any case, we're all thrilled to see how far this modern samurai can go in the UFC. If you like this video, knock that like button out, subscribe to the channel, and squeeze the notification bell.